Welcome to Visual Studio Mobile Center, Bite Sized. My name is June, and I created Bite Sized to deliver short, informative tutorial videos to help developers hit the ground running with Mobile Center. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to watch future tutorials on Azure, Crash Analytics, and Beta Distribution. Today, let's talk about testing our mobile app. Mobile Center supports the most popular testing frameworks. Xamarin.UI test is the easiest framework to use in Mobile Center since Microsoft breathes any platform, any device, all day, every day. We also fully support Calabash, Espresso, and Appium. Today, we will be connecting an Android Xamarin.UI test with Mobile Center Test Cloud. To follow along, you will need to register for account at mobile.azure.com and have an Android Xamarin.UI test script ready. To start testing your app in Mobile Center, you will need to sign in at mobile.azure.com. Then, you will need to add a new app. Here, you will put in your app name. In my case, I'm going to be using an app called Xweather, which was developed by one of my colleagues here at Microsoft. If you want to see some more awesome projects by Colby, I'll leave a link down below. For the description, I'm just going to put in Weather App. And for our OS, we're going to pick Android. And for our platform, we're going to choose Xamarin for today. I'm going to add new app. Now, we're going to go to the left hand side of the column and we're going to choose Test. Once we hit Test, we're greeted by the screen that says, I don't have any test runs yet. So let's go ahead and kick off our first test run. After we hit New Test Run, we're greeted by this beautiful UI that displays all the real devices that we could test on. For the purpose of this demo today, I'm going to be doing a smoke test. So I'll be picking the most popular devices that our customers love to use. We'll start off with the brand new shiny Google Pixel XL, the Huawei Nexus 6P. Since I already picked the 7.1 version for the XL, I'm going to go ahead and pick the Nexus 6P but with the 7.0 Android OS version. Last but not least, let's go ahead and go with the Samsung Galaxy S7 with the OS version of 6.0. Note that I picked three devices with three separate OS versions. I think that's very important because then you'll be able to test on a wide spectrum of Android OS versions. Then we're going to select our three devices and click the button at the bottom right hand corner. Now it's time to configure our test run. For our test series, I'm going to use the master test series, the English language. And for our testing framework for today, I'm going to be using Xamarin.UI test. And then I'm going to hit the next button. Now we need to do two simple prerequisites before we submit our test to Mobile Center. So first we need to install Node.js version 6.3 or later. So let's go ahead and go to Node.js now. At Node.js, you agree to buy two different versions, the 6.9 version and the 7.5 version. I recommend using the 6.9 version because it's a stable build. The 7.5 version has the latest and greatest features, but it might be a little buggy. If you want to follow along, go ahead and install 6.9 of Node.js and whenever it's finished, go ahead and hit play again. After we installed Node.js, then we need to install the Mobile Center CLI NPM package. In order to do this, it's super simple. First, we need to copy this command to our clipboard. Next, I'm going to be opening up Terminal and if you're using a PC, you could go ahead and use your command prompt. Now we need to paste that command in and then go ahead and execute this command. I already installed this. So after you install the npm package, let's go ahead and get back into Mobile Center. One last thing you need to make sure you have to do is that you have Xamarin.UI test installed in your test solution. In order to do this, there's a helpful link right over here. And once we get here, you can see exactly how to install Xamarin.UI test into your test solution. Now we're ready to run some tests. To kick off your first test in Mobile Center, we need to copy this command and make a couple edits. So let's open up our favorite text editor. In my case, my favorite editor is Visual Studio Code. Let's start by running through this command and changing a couple parameters before we launch our first test into Mobile Center. So first you can see that we need to change our path to our APK file. And as we scroll down here, we also need to change the path to our build test directory. In order to do these two things, it's very simple. Let's get back into our desktop. 
we'll go ahead and use terminal again. Those of you who are using PC, you could go ahead and use the command prompt. I like using the terminal because you can find the path to any file on your computer by simply dragging it into the window. So first we need to find our path to our APK file. So for me, I have my APK file right on my desktop. So all I have to do is drag the APK file into my terminal. And now I have the path to my APK file. So let's go ahead and copy our path to our APK file. And we'll switch back into our text editor. And here, I will just select the path to the APK file and just paste that right in here. Now we have the path to our APK file. Next, we need to find the path to our build test directory. So let's go ahead and get back into our terminal, open up a new tab. Now we need to go into our project folder and here we need to find the path to our DLLs. Let me zoom in a little bit so it'll be a little bit easier to see. I'm gonna go ahead and expand the project folder out. I'm gonna go into my bin folder and you can see there's my debugging and expand that. Here lives all my DLLs. So all I have to do now is highlight this folder and just drag this folder into my terminal. And now I have my path to my build directory. Let's go ahead and copy this path and we'll go ahead and get back into our text editor and we're just gonna highlight the path, and just paste this right in here. And that's it. We have our command to run our first test in Mobile Center. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. We just went over the most critical point, so let's do a quick review on how to upload a test via the command line. This is the code snippet you get when you upload a test to Mobile Center. Let's start with the app ID. In this case, it's June Colby X Weather. This automatically generates when you upload a test to Mobile Center. Now, we'll look at the specific device ID. This device ID is unique, so you can reuse the ID if you're going to use the same set of devices. Next, we have the path to the APK file. Remember, you can find the path to the APK by simply dragging the APK into the terminal or command prompt. Last, we need to put the path to the UI test build dir. You can also use the terminal or command prompt to drag the folder that contains your DLLs to find the path to the UI test build dir. That was a quick review on how to upload a test via the command line. Now, let's dive back into our text editor. Copy this command. I'll open up a new window in my terminal. We're going to paste the code snippet that we just worked on into the terminal and just execute the command and off it goes. Let's go back into Mobile Center and see what the status of our test is. As you can see, we successfully launched our first test in Mobile Center and it's currently running right now. A few moments later. By the time you finish your quick snack or a cup of coffee, your test should be done. We can see here that the Check Las Vegas weather test passed with flying colors. But when we go down to Check Miami weather, we can see a little red lightning bolt right here. And it looks like our test failed. So let's zoom in so we can get a closer look. So that looks fine and looks like it failed here. Let's zoom into one of them. Let's go into the pixel and we'll go into the logs. And the most important tab for me here, the test failures log. And I can see that there's an error while performing the tapping function on an element called Miami. If we zoom in here, I could see that Miami is spelled wrong, spelled with two eyes. So this is the super cool part about Mobile Center. I could quickly see with the snapshots that Miami is definitely spelled wrong here. So let's go back into our IDE. Now we know exactly what to do to fix our application. So we go to our Miami folder, scroll down, Miami, yep, definitely spelled this wrong. So let me go ahead and correct this error. And this is the coolest part, right? I could quickly diagnose the problem and then make the appropriate changes, push a new version to the app, and now I know the new edition is passing with flying colors. If you want to check out my test scores for this demo, or if you want to know more about Mobile Center, please visit the links here. Hope you found this quick little guide on how to set up your Android APK into Mobile Center informative. Till next time, peace.